Hello, class. The third step in program development is defining any constants needed in your process. Constants give you the opportunity to give meaning to numbers in your program. A program is just a manipulation of different numbers. Numbers in your program can represent different values of temperature or pressure. It may tell you the status of a pin, whether a switch is on or off. It may let you know that a uh, light is on or off. But everything is represented as numbers. Even numbers represent letters of the alphabet. For example, if I want to say my name into a computer, then there's a number that represents J. There's a number that represents U. There's a number that represents A, and there's a number that represents N. If you want to track the number of bottles that are being received by a process, you use numbers to count the number of bottles. So it can be a count value, or it can represent a time value for a timer. Even numbers are used to identify which port you're going to use, such as port 0 to read the condition of a switch, or port 1 to control the condition of an LED. So numbers are used throughout the program to represent many different things. The numbers can be confusing if they're not organized properly. And there are some numbers in the program that does not change. This is where we can define those numbers as a name that we are familiar with. For example, in this step of the program, I have designated that the number zero, zero will represent switch off and the number one will represent switch on. What this means is that everywhere in the program where I put the word switch off, the compiler will replace that word with the number zero. And wherever I have the word switch on in my program, it will replace that word with the number one. After all, words are much easier to understand than the number zero and one, at least within the program. So now I can read the program as if I'm reading a normal document instead of reading a combination of zeros and ones. And I decided to let pin 15 to represent the status of the LED because pin 15 will be used to control the LED. So whenever I want the LED to be equal to a zero or the LED to be equal to a 1, it will be replaced by this pin number 15. So constants can be used in your program to help make things easier to read and also easier to update.
for example, maybe I have decided not to use pin 15 to control the LED. Maybe I want to use pin 14. Well, I only have to replace it at this point in the program and everywhere else where LED is written, the number 14 will be replaced. Suppose I have a different design for a circuit and a 1 represents switch off and a 0 represents switch on. Well, I only have to replace it here and everywhere else in the program where switch off and switch on is written, the 1 and 0 will be replaced automatically. So constants are very important and very powerful in program development. Thank you.